The Dallas Cowboys finished sixth in the NFL in total defense last season. It was one of the best Dallas defenses we've seen in a long time. Keeping their season afloat after Dak Prescott went down with an injury and helping lead the team to 12 wins for the second year in a row. The Cowboys finished first in turnover percentage, first in turnovers, and eighth in passing yards allowed. All in all, a solid defense that was perfectly good enough to win a championship. But there was one problem last year that lingered over this team, and it was the run defense. The team traded for Jonathan Hankins at the halfway point to try and shore up the defensive interior, but he would go down with an injury and not return until the playoffs. But I think there's more to the story of the Cowboys' run defense than just their defensive interior. Leighton Van Der Esch went down with an injury later into the season, and I think that hurt this defense a lot more than people realize. So that leads us to our topic today. The Cowboys have to find more pieces for this linebacker position. And before you say Micah Parsons is an off ball linebacker and you can use him there I don't want Micah playing off ball linebacker he is way too valuable as a pass rusher in my brain I see Micah as a pass rusher only because that is when the Cowboys defense is at their best so right now this is what the depth chart at linebacker looks like Leighton Van Der Esch, Damone Clark, Jabril Cox, Devin Harper, DeMarvion Overshone, and Malik Jefferson. If you notice a trend amongst these players, it's that none of them have a ton of experience playing NFL football. Aside from Van Der Esch, all of the other guys that I mentioned have played less than 450 total snaps on defense combined. And if you take away Damone Clark from that group, they have played less than 50 total snaps combined amongst Cox, Harper, Overshone, and Jefferson. That is a ton of inexperience at the linebacker position. So hypothetically, let's say that Van Der Esch is injured and misses four to five games. That leaves you with Jabril Cox and Damone Clark, your two LSU linebackers. The only problem is Jabril played less than 40 total snaps last season. 40. Is that a player you're going to trust playing 70 to 80 snaps a game for a good stretch of the season? I'm not saying he can't do it. I just worry that would turn out to be a really bad idea. Two young linebackers that have limited experience trying to be a key piece to your defense. It seems like you're going to be asking a lot of those two players. I think the Cowboys would benefit from maybe bringing in a linebacker during training camp, someone that has veteran experience. I wouldn't say they need to go out and trade for one, but for now, let's look at some free agent linebackers that are still unsigned and could be brought in on vet minimum deals. The first player is Deion Jones, who has connections to Dan Quinn from his time in Atlanta. There were kind of some rumors and talks about the Cowboys Cowboys possibly trading for Jones, but obviously that never happened. He's a seven-year veteran and is available on the free agent market. Miles Jack, who was with the Steelers last season, who also has seven years in the league. Other names are Zach Cunningham, Kyle Van Noy, Quan Alexander, and one more name that you probably recognize from his time in Dallas a few years back, Damian Wilson who is now 30 years old and has played for multiple teams at this point in his career. Go ahead and comment down below if you remember Damian Wilson. At this point, there aren't going to be a ton of names that are going to make you feel as if you upgraded the position exponentially. The name I'm most interested in on that list is Deion Jones because of the connection to Dan Quinn and the experience. Wait, we are so close to 20 thousand subscribers i'll be having a giveaway as soon as we hit it so make sure you smash that subscribe button and let's continue with the video most of his starting time coming in atlanta if you could get him in here on a vet minimum deal i would have some interest other than that i think you could roll with the young guys through training camp get them as many reps in the preseason as you can and then see how you feel about it. And maybe I'm overthinking this situation just a little bit because the Cowboys defense survived perfectly fine with Anthony Barr last year. And if you're an Anthony Barr fan, I hate to break it to you, but he was absolutely terrible last season. So maybe you'll get more out of the young guys this year than what we saw from Barr in 2022. I do have hope though, because of one person, and that is Dan Quinn. We know that he has been creative with how he uses players, especially the safeties coming down in the box and playing as your nickel linebacker. Quinn survived last season without his two top corners in the playoffs, 
could he survive a Leighton Van Der Esch injury or a Damone Clark injury? That's something we're going to have to figure out. And maybe the Cowboys' willingness to shore up the defensive interior could help out these linebackers as well. Mozzie Smith, Jonathan Hankins, and Osa Odigizua. Maybe they can help these young linebackers stay clean and just run and hit. I am worried though that this could be the weak spot of an otherwise talented Cowboys defense. They have a great pass rush. They have Gilmore and Diggs on the outside with Bland in the slot. They have a solid safety group, but the lack of depth at linebacker should be concerning and a spot that the Cowboys could look to upgrade if it becomes a problem in camp. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I love you all. Bye. Go. Hustle, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my 